Welcome back to another gear review. Have you ever looked at a tool at a box store, or at a hardware store, and looked at it and you thought, I don't need it, but I feel like I should have it? Well, this is that tool. And as you can see, it is well worn. This is the Stanley Fubar Fat Max Functional Utility Bar. Extreme. I mean, it is a solid piece of metal. And I bought this, I needed uh, a pry bar, um, but I wanted something with a rubber grip on it on a job I was on. And then I wanted the ability to tweak a two by four. As you can see, say there I was doing a, uh, a deck, I could put that in there and I could tweak a two by four to get it level. And so I like this jaw function on here and that was the reason I got it. But this tool has turned into so much more and I actually have three of them. And, and we keep them in our job boxes in different trucks. And this thing is so utilitarian. It has a nail puller, has a pry bar, has a good cushion handle. You can use this as a hint, as a, uh, a leverage. Um, and then this function here, being able to get on two by four or plywood or something like that to give you leverage, has a hammer end on there. I would carry one of these. I actually carry one of these in the back of my vehicle uh, because this would be very handy for um, doing uh, changing a tire and things like that. Digging down, if you've ever had to dig down, if you've ever changed a tire, a lot of people don't do that no more, but I actually just had to change one this week. I think that's five I've had to change this last six months. But anyways, um, it's really handy. I put it in the back. It, it, this is something I would put in like an emergency pouch in the back of a car. Like this is a great tool and it, it runs right around 30 bucks. I think you can get it at Home Depot. Let me check the website here. Yeah, you can get it right now, 32.77 on Home Depot's website. They probably have it at Lowe's as well or other box stores you probably find cheaper, I don't know. But for 33 bucks, I don't even think I paid for that. That I don't think I paid that much for it when I bought it. Things have gone up as we know with inflation. But yeah, it, I mean, it has some rust on there. And like I said, I have three of these, but it's still, it's a solid piece of metal. It's probably right around 15, 16 inches. And this thing is just a beast. I use this all the time. I've used this for, I couldn't get leverage on a, a jack. And so I've had to, you know, gently caress some, uh, the, ja the, the jack a little bit or caress the, uh, the nut lug and stuff like that. Um, and it's been ha handy. I've, I've used it to dig out the tire. Uh, I've used this all kinds of things. If you live in cold weather, um, and things like that, when you gotta knock off some ice, man, this would be awesome for that. Um, because it has a good rubber grip, um, you can get on there. It's not huge, it's not super heavy, but it has enough weight to it where it's, you can use it for stuff. Um, and in the construction field, it's a great lever, great hammer, great ergonomics. It's pretty balanced center, great nail, nail puller. You can sit something up there, let's say you're gonna, pry this two by four out and you have another hammer and you can whack that sucker and bend this and use it as leverage. This is a great all around tool and I highly recommend it. I would say that even if you don't do construction, you don't do house chores or things like that, this would be a great tool to have just in the back of your car in your emergency kit. And that's really why I brought it up for a review because for an emergency kit, this is awesome because you need a hammer. You need some something that's gonna give you some heft to it um, I can't tell you how many times where you need something like that, where maybe I've gotten, uh, I've pulled over or where somebody's gotten an accident and the only thing necessary for them to get uh, going, their bumper was hanging down um, and they couldn't drag it. So something like this, I mean, it's already damaged, you could rip it off, uh, stuff like that. Uh, you can use things like this to, I mean, the world produces all kinds of scenarios where we need tools and you just never know. And the problem is, is when you need a tool and you don't have a tool, well, then you got to improvise. Well, this gives you a lot of tools in one so you don't have to do so much improvisation. And uh, we're going to be doing, I'm going to start doing some stuff and we're going to throw this in our, our bag of goodies that we should uh, be carrying it with us in our vehicles because I think every single person should be prepared. Everything, every single person should have tools in their car in case they, 
uh, they need something. And this is one of the tools I would recommend. And uh, for this review, I would say I've used this tool. I've used it a lot. You can see it. I've used it to hammer. I've used it to dig. I've used it to knock things off. I've used it to pry. I've used it to maneuver. I've used it and it doesn't crack, it doesn't break. Um, it holds up. And this thing here is about six years old right here. And so it's in pretty decent shape for being six years old. And you can see I use it. I didn't just buy it and, you know, and try to do a review on something I just bought. This is something that I've been using for a long time. And uh, my guys who work for me, they, they use them too on different things. Uh, a lot of times they'll be like, hey, that, that, you know, they're doing decking and stuff like that. And they'll use that to manipulate and just give an extra hand and get that leverage. You can even slide a pipe over that, maybe a inch and a half pipe and give yourself some even more leverage which is another trick we'll talk about on another tool that you should be carrying in your vehicle. So I didn't want to do a real long review on it. I wasn't going to show you how to hammer or anything like that. I'm hoping that you know the basics of things like that or how to pry or anything like that. But I'm just showing you the tool itself and the review of this tool of what it can do. It can pry, pull nails. It has a great claw. You can use that to dig. You can use that to dig. You can use that to hammer. Um, it has a great rubber ergonomic grip. It costs about 32 33 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's. Go grab one. I'm telling you, it's a great tool. Something I didn't intend to buy for any specific purpose, did. And now I have three of them, so. All right, another gear review down. Talk to you later.